Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Key Wisdom to Raw. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This Sagittarius is your love reading for the month of December. I'm going to draw six cards and I'll let you know initially and I'll let you know what each of the cards represents, okay? I've already shuffled and meditated before I've started. That is tiny. He's got his jingle bells on because it's Christmas. <laughs> I've already shuffled already meditated. I'll do a little bit more of that on camera and then we'll get started, my darlings, okay? Uh-uh. Sit down, tiny good boy. I'll have a look at those. If they come out, I'll tell you what they are. Sagittarius. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. You're fabulous, Sagittarius. Happy birthday. I hope you're enjoying your birthday season, Sagittarius. I hope it's fabulous, darling. Because the Capricorns are coming back soon. It'll be my birthday season. Yay! <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a fabulous birthday, my darlings. Okay, so this is at the bottom of your deck. Um, and it's the Four of Swords. So this is perfect, really, isn't it? I think the time is, is looking... Um, the month of December seems to be looking like a time of um, taking action on the things that we, we need to release. Um, and, and really, for some of us, taking action means this. It means taking that time out to reflect. The the Four of Swords is about... <laughs> that just talks about release. That's the death card, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I just talked about... Um, excuse me, the four of swords, put them down, the four of swords, uh, fours are about our foundations and the structures in our lives, and the sword energy is about our thoughts, our minds, our clarity, our consciousness, our communication, and that's why we call the four of swords the meditation card, because it's about understanding, about taking time out to understand what those foundations are, who are you, who do you think you are, what is your perspective on this life, on this relationship, etc etc that is the type of energy that's why we are looking it's very close looking um to do this is what you're looking to do this is your underlying energy underlying energy um this month so you've been quite reflective quite contemplative about things um sagittarius all told which is actually a really positive place to be okay uh, especially in your birthday season woo woo. okay sag so first card here represents your overall energy or focus for the month of december and we've got another four so if <laughs> i'll just show you this now because i've said because you know it's four 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 and we've already started we've got two fours so yeah your foundations it's interesting isn't it um the four of pentacles pentacle energy is related to earth energy um which are the signs of taurus virgo capricorn and pentacle energy is really about the things re things that are real in the world things that we manifest in this world things that we put our energy into to create okay so like relationships like job security financial security etc now this month sagittarius i see a repeat here I, just a second this is coming out for that as well now this month sagittarius it really seems where you're thinking about your foundations and your security and those of you that follow me on instagram and on facebook um keywords and tarot you'll have read the post that i did about the fours four 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 all the fours and i think it's probably helpful for you to for you guys to go and you know you can search just search key wisdom tarot instagram or, or when, go onto instagram search key wisdom tarot or, or or on facebook and look for the post four 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 and it's got all the fours it's got these two it's got the emperor etc so 
check that post out because it really is about your security and your foundations and this is you holding on to something that you find secure even though there's a huge amount of potential to be had so it might be that you're staying put you're staying in this situation you're staying in this relationship you're staying um in this job because this is what gives you security and really this month it's about questioning okay well is that enough you know this is what the type of thing you'll be questioning let's have a look at the clarifier because it it came out straight away didn't it <laughs> look at that it came out and it's the only clarifier that, that wanted to come out for you guys okay so it's looking like a pretty clear reading this is i really feel like this is is saying one of two things okay maybe you've already done a lot maybe this year you've done a lot this is your energy isn't it fire maybe this year you've done a lot you've come into a lot of realizations you've taken a lot of action you've made a lot of changes you've gone for the things that you've wanted to go for and now it's time to rest or and probably more so for some of you is this is you holding yourself down this is you literally holding yourself back holding yourself in actually there's things that you want to do there's places you want to go there's people you want to see there's things that you want to ex experience and actually you're stopping yourself from experiencing those things because you feel like but i've got my security so i won't go for it i won't you know go traveling for, for a month because i've got my job or well, whatever it is everyone's different but this is you potentially holding yourself back holding yourself in holding yourself down I'm getting upset now. Do you know why I'm getting upset? Do you know why I'm getting upset? I'm just curious. I lost my tissue. Do you know why I'm getting upset? I'm getting upset because... This is what I did. I used to do this. I used to do this. As to be fair, I, I still do in some respects. You know what? That's me being really honest with you guys. It's like, you can be so much more, and you know it. You could, you can be so much more than you are, and you know it. You know it deep down, you know you've got it, you can do it, but you're not. Oh, thank you for passing. Okay, so that's me getting upset for you because I'm connecting with me crying isn't because I'm an emotional wreck. That's me. <laughs> I mean, I am, but <laughs> the reason why I cry when I watch, this is why I don't watch the news. This is why <laughs> when I watch things is because when I see these type of energies is because this is what some of you will ex are experiencing. You're really experiencing that. I really want to do this. I really want to go there. I really want to do this. But I'm just, I'm not, like, I'm going to hold myself back, like, because of life, because of my job, because of my family, because of whatever the feckin', that was F-E, whatever the feckin' stupid reason is that you tell, not stupid. The reasons that we tell ourselves anyway. And remember the karmic, so you, you're always going to get to have these experiences. But oh my god it's sad it makes me sad anyway okay so i'm just connecting to your energy some of you are upset because some of you know that that's what you're doing some of you know that you're holding yourself back some of you know that there's much better things out there for you whether that be relationship or singledom or whatever you know that this is better for me there's other things that i can do there's other there's another situation that i want to be in and you're holding yourself back because you where you are now you feel security it gives you security this is the focus, your overall focus for this month. This is what you've got to reflect on. This is what you've got to look at when it comes to love, when it comes to your relationship, okay? Let's look at your what you what or who you could encounter or experience in the month of December. Wow. Oh, I feel like crying again. <laughs> I've lost my tissue. I've been coughing all blooming day. And I went, I just went, <clears throat> sorry. This is amazing, okay? I'm really happy for you, Saj, okay? Because we've got this... I'm going to get me drink. We've got this card of um, the Ace of Cups. So what... If it's a who you could encounter, this could be a, a, a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If it's a what, it's a brand new emotional beginning. And hallelujah. Well done. I'm gone. I need to do a, a Wendy moment. 
Wendy Williams. She she always drinks, doesn't she, when she's on, on the telly. She's oh she has a drink, doesn't she? And she makes everyone wait. I do apologise, but I'm I'm I've actually got a cold me, you know, babe. I'm fucking flagging here today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Sag, I'm so happy for you. Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is what you could encounter or experience, and it's a new emotional beginning. And I really think for some of you, it is about breaking out of this. Breaking out of this. Of this stuck energy. And actually doing what you want to do, which is just live. Live. Okay, so next, <laughs> remember that as well. It's because you're being reflective. It's because you're being reflective. It's because you're understanding what you think. It's because you're trying to work it out what you think. You're trying to get to the root of things personally for you. I mean, just don't be afraid, Sag. And I, I think we started, we had some time this year, a few of the months, I think before September time, June, July, August, you know, we were, we were, I, was, I felt like I was repeating myself. I felt like you, there was all these things that you wanted to do and you weren't doing them. And then we had a couple of months where things seemed to, you know, change and you start, th things seem to get a bit lighter for you, Sag. And then now I'm back to this energy again. I mean, Mercury is retrograde though. You know, Mercury is the Virgo card, is the Hermit card. It's, a, it's about looking within, it's about understanding. So we, I'm not surprised these ideas or these 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 thoughts are coming back up to the surface now for you in december okay but we've got an opportunity for a new emotional beginning a new relationship new truth you know new actions based on truly authentic feelings and emotion that you have and i would always say sagittarius go for it, it doesn't matter if you've not doesn't matter if you're married or if you're single or whatever if you're gay it doesn't matter okay you need to be you did i not did you not listen do you not follow me on instagram did you not read the post that i wrote yesterday life is art be careful what you create that's not like a frivolous thing that people i this is true Everything that you do, everything that you say, everything that you think, everything that you tell yourself, you're creating, you're manifesting in your life. So what do you want to create? What do you want to manifest? What masterpiece do you want to bring into this world? Give birth to it, Sag, give birth, because this is the energy. It's like, come on, Sagittarius, come on, Sagittarius. I, I, I'm getting all... I'm feeling the fire. This I'll be honest. Since I started doing the fire, you, yours is you're the last fire sign. This is the third one, and um, I'm like, I'm properly like excited because but it's your energy. This is you. You're excited. You know. You feel it. It's here for you. Okay, perspective or your past. So this is the perspective, this is your past. So this is where you're coming from. If it's a perspective, it's you trying to gain perspective on this situation, which is more important. Which is more important? The security that I've got or what I'm feeling inside, even though I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know what the outcome will be. Which is more important? If it's your perspective, it's that. It's about understanding, understanding what you are going through, what you are experiencing is the hanged man. It's about reflecting on those things and those things leading you to enlightenment with the hanged man. It's about recognising that the fact that you've been able to sustain this situation, even though you've been uncomfortable, has actually taught you something about your own strength, about who you are. That's perspective. If it's your past, this is what you've been doing. You've been trying to understand, trying to uncover, trying to make sense of the situation in love that you are in, that you are facing. And maybe that's why you're not moving. Some of you maybe aren't at that place where you fully see that yet, where you fully understand yet. But you'll have time. And remember, in um, remember that, I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I got distracted. 
if I got distracted, it wasn't important. It'll, if it's important, it'll come back to me. You know, you've got to, you've got to realise how your strength, because I, I feel like for some of you, Sagis, you just don't, you're so afraid. What are you, why are you scared? Like, it's like you're afraid of other people. Like you're afraid of like what other people will say, what other people will do, what other, how other people will react. Who, I mean, and not, as long as you're not killing anyone or hurting anyone, who cares how they're going to react? Like your life is about you. You're creating this life by what you do. So be careful what you're creating. I'm, I'm being serious when I say that. You've had time this year to learn, to understand, to grow. So recognise that that is the path that you've been on, that you have learned, that you are growing, that you are changing, that you are transforming already. Even though you don't want to, some of you, you're like, no, I don't want to, no, I don't want to, no. Don't tell me that, no. Don't tell me that, universe. Well, the universe has told you that. The universe has showed you the experiences have happened and so change is already, change go and come. You know, I say that. <laughs> so let's have a look. You have a look at this card, which actually represents your love potential or love lesson for the month of December. You have a look at this contemplative look while I drink some water. Mmm. Mmm. Very interesting. Now, some of you, this is the Hierophant number five in the Major Arcana. The Hierophant can represent and, and, and be representative of a, a, a whole host of things. Let's look at one side of it, first of all. Marriage and commitment. A traditional relationship. Traditional relationship. You know, two people in a relationship committed to each other, blah, blah, blah. It can relate to that. So your love potential or love lesson um, could be you realizing that that, that that that's what you want. You want marriage now. You've been in this relationship. It's been it's been un, what's that word? You know, unsteady, unstable, whatever. It might have been casual. Um, it might be to make it permanent. It might be your love lesson is to make that permanent, to make a permanent commitment to somebody, or to or realizing that that is what you want. That actually, you, I want this in my life now. I want marriage. I want children. I want that traditional way of living of being but there's another interpretation because number five which is the her the hierophant is number five number five is a card of change isn't it i'm just putting my hand cream on um my mummy my mummy has been an avon lady as long like as literally i mean i'm 35 and as long as i can remember she's been an avon lady and so whenever i go home like i went out last week oh, i came back with loads of free goodies you know <laughs> Anyway, so I'm putting my hand cream on. I've got two. I've got this one, which is what she's, which is, this is coconut oil. I've got another one. I think it's sheer butter. Oh, it smells right nice. They do. They smell right nice. So one's in my bedroom and one's in here. Anyway, so it could be that. It could be the marriage, could be the, you know, commitment, traditional commitment, blah, blah, blah. But it could be something else. Now, as I said, number five is a card of change. Change going come. And it could be that that's the situation that you're in and you want to leave that situation. You want a new emotional beginning. You, you, you're tired of the relationship that you're in. You don't want that situation, that circumstance anymore. You are being guided though. This is actually a very, this, this process, this year has taught you real patience, actually Sagittarius. It's taught you real patience and that patience that it's showing, teaching you is bringing you onto firm footing it's like that energy of temperance mixed with um knight of pentacles it's that slow moving energy but it's not slow for the sake of being slow it's slow because we're trying to build solid new foundations i'm really trying to understand who i am here i'm really trying to understand what i want here and that's kind of like the energy of, the, of this year for you it's kind of like you've been going on this journey to really understand because you don't want to make you don't want to you don't want to fail at it. You don't want to fail at it. You see it as failure. If you if you if you end a relationship or whatever, you see it as failure. It's not failure. That's karma. That's what you need to experience. You still can you love yourself if you're a failure? Can you? That's why we fail sometimes at life. Can you love yourself if you've got no money? Can you? That's why we have no money sometimes in life. Can you love yourself if no one else loves you? Can you? That is why we have the situations arise in our lives. That's what karma is for. It's the teachers. It's to show us who we are. And you've been learning. 
So for some of you, you'll be making these commitments. Your love lesson this year, this month is about making these commitments. It's about going after the relationships, the love that you want, the family relation. Uh, what, what's it? Family dynamics that you want. For some of you, it's a case of this is not what I want. I ain't. I don't want to be in this relationship. I don't want to be in any relationship. I don't want to conform to the standards of, I've, oh gosh, I need to, look, biological clock's ticking, come on. Biological clock's ticking, I need to get, no. I don't want to do that. I ain't doing that. Some of you, you it goes one of two ways. I mean, literally, because look, I mean, literally, we've got both those. <laughs> we've got the stay put, do nothing. We've got the let's go crazy, let's go for it. Energies, okay? So you've got the option. I mean, you be you. I, I say always be yourself, but obviously we are not always ourselves and we should still love ourselves anyway. We should learn to. That is what the situation is for. That is what the situation is trying to teach you, is trying to show you, Sag. So I think you should watch my karma video. Definitely watch the video on karma. Let's have a look. So this is, as I said, either sticking with you know, sorry, sorry, either, you know, getting married, proposing to somebody, deciding to move in with somebody, because that's really, truly what you want, you're realising that you want that, or the opposite, realising that actually this is seeing this situation from a different perspective and realising that this is not what I want, I'm not ready for marriage, I don't want it, it's not what I want, I don't want that type of relationship, I want to be single, it's one or the other, it's one or the other for some of you. Sorry to be, I can't be more specific, but literally that's what the cards are telling me. There's literally two ways of looking at this situation, two ways of looking at this reading, two different potential outcomes, either nothing or action. You know, it's literally like that. That means it could potentially be two people that you're juggling, not juggling, but considering maybe you are married, maybe you love somebody else. Maybe you got married when you were like 18 or whatever, you know, very young, for example and maybe not 18 but anyway maybe got married when you were very young and now you know 10 15 years later when you're like 35 you're like eh that isn't this isn't the marriage that I want this isn't this isn't this isn't what I wanted this is not what I want for my life I don't want just this I don't want to just be in this house in this looking after these kids and doing I want to live I want to see the world I want to I want to explore whatever you know um so it could be that there's two mm, mm. let's have a look Excuse me, this is the challenge. Let's have a look. Oh, babe. How many fours is that now? Three, right. You need to, four, four, four. You need to go to my Instagram now. <laughs> and search. Key wisdom to raw. Four, four, four. And you'll see the read, you'll see, you'll read it, okay? There's a lot of changes going on. Fun fundamental changes. This is the challenge. This is emotional. This is number four, foundation, structures in our life, the structures in your life, how you built your life, okay? This is emotionally. What is your, what are your emotional foundations? What are your structures emotionally? How do you, where do they come from? How do they find you? How did you, how do you find them? Why are, why is this the situation that you're in? Why? Why? you know, what led you to this? What led you to to this being your emotional foundation? What led you to, to feeling that this was enough for you? Why do you feel this isn't? All these questions, 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 questions. And I ask questions like that because that's really what tarot is for. It's about, sorry, I don't, I'm gonna have a drink, hang on. That's really what tarot is for, bear with me. Tarot is about questions. Tarot cards are questions. I mean, yes, they are archetypes. They're representative of specific experiences, emotionally, energetically, in our life, whatever. But fundamentally for me, for some, as, as I said, I'm mindful, darling. I meditate, I reflect. They're about questions. Why? Why? What led me to this? What led me here? Why do I feel this way? How am I feeling? Am I happy? Am I decided? This is... You know, we call this emotional boredom, or not we, they're out in the ether, you know. Emotional boredom, empathy, you know, that type of, you know, feeling, feeling, feeling just unfulfilled, really, emotionally. And and look, 
there's an opportunity to change that. I mean, it's below that coin. This is the advice. Your challenge is, I mean, I really feel like your challenge is recognising. that That's what it is. You really need to, we've got no sword. Well, we've got that sword, actually, haven't we? And we've got this hang on, which, which is about, as I said, it's about your mental processes, actually, and your wisdom um, gained through experience, okay? And this is why my channel is called Key Wisdom to Raw. You know, energy, that's key. Wisdom to Raw. Wisdom is gained through experience. It's gained through these, 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 this activity of reflecting, of questioning, of asking these questions. And, and maybe you haven't done that for a while. The thing about December is it's the holiday. So even if you're not um, Catholic or Christian, um, you know, everyone has a lot of time in the West, in the Western world. And I know not all my viewers are from the Western world. Um, but in the Western world, you know, we everyone has time off at Christmas. And at Christmas, as I said, this is when people separate. This is when people leave them, husbands and their wives. And it's because, and the boyfriends and the girlfriends, and it's because either they don't want to spend money on a present. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's because... <laughs> when Listen, I've got some younger younger viewers uh, who watch the channel. So for you guys, it is, it's, it's that, isn't it? You don't want to buy him a present. You don't want to buy him a present for Christmas, so you're going to dump him. And it's fine to dump him because you weren't happy anyway. Or some of you, and I know you girls, those 18 year olds out there, listen, I was there, babe. I used to be there. They used to. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be with the. Oh, you know, you get with someone like in October time, and then you've got enough time to get a present. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, um, the reason statistically why marriages or relationships end in the holidays is just simply because we're spending more time with people. You spend more time, you know, with your spouse, with your partner. And you're like, God, that, I married that. They're bloody annoying or whatever, okay? So that's why. But, so it's, it's uh, obviously at this time, is what I'm, what I'm saying is it's natural in a way just because of how the, our society is built and how our society runs. We all have this week or two weeks at Christmas. <coughs> over the holidays obviously america you've just had thanksgiving happy thanksgiving um <coughs> excuse me so at those times naturally we're not as busy we're not working hard we're surrounded by our friends our family we're talking to our besties about this about that and so obviously it's a time where we do start to recognize things start to become very um obvious emotionally and mentally it starts to become obvious to us, you know, really what we're feeling, experiencing, what we're thinking. And that's just because of the time that we've got, the space that we've got away from work, okay? So this is your challenge. It's about recognising this. Again, understanding how you're feeling because you do want a new emotional beginning. This is, remember, this in this position here is what or who you could encounter or have experienced this month. Excuse me, but the only way to bring in this emotion, this change emotionally, the only way to bring that in is to do these things, is to recognise and reflect on all these three things. What, where do you put your security? Is your security more important than the things that you want to achieve in life? Why do you feel the way that you do? What got you to this point? How are you actually feeling right now? Why do you feel that way? What got you to that point? What do you think about yourself? What is your self-worth? What is your value? How much you know power and strength do you have to change this situation? But et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All fours. So it's really important that you ask you're asking yourself these questions this month, Sagittarius, because that's really what all what your reading is about. Right, advice. I'm gonna show you the card. I'm gonna let you look at the card. I'm gonna drink some water. Oh, <laughs> Yay! Oh, Tiny's here! Yay! Yay, Tiny! Yay, Tiny! Look! Are you happy, Tiny? Sagittarius got the full card! Tiny's got his... He's got his Christmas collar on. Oh! Mm -hmm. Okay. You get down. Goodbye. And me, I found my tissue as well. I found my tissue. <laughs> it was on my chair. Um, amazing, Sag. Oh, my God. Well, I suppose it's, it's advice, I suppose. <coughs> you need to you need to take a leap of faith and go for it you need to go for it Saj tell her how you feel tell him how you feel you have to 
You have to. And you know why you have to? Not because everything's going to work out perfectly. We don't know what's going to work out. We don't, doesn't, we don't know. The fool doesn't know what's going to happen. We don't know. But we do. We take that action. We take that step because we know that we're being pulled in that direction. We know. We've spent time thinking about it, reflecting on our feelings. We've spent time putting our energy into things that, yes, provide us security, but do they provide us with happiness? And what is more important in this life? And that is a choice. That is a choice that we all make. Now, some of us, we might be born in in different countries and we might, don't have those choices. We don't, they don't have the choices that we have. I'm going to get sad again now. I was watching a documentary. Um, what was it? Uh, Master of Photography. I love that, that um, documentary. I was watching it. It's a series. And, you know, in the final, they had to, they had to take, they had to meet three different refugees from different, around the world, from around Europe. And, One of them was um, a dancer. I'm going to cry because... <laughs> he was a dancer. And um, I think he was living in Rome now, like, in where this programme was... <sighs> Sorry. And um, he said on the on the programme... He, he basically founded a... Um, in Rome, or oh, I think it was Rome where he lived... I did a dance school and a dance, you know, so they would perform. And all the people on this dance thing were all refugees from Syria. And he said, you know, I don't want people to see me as a refugee. You know, he said, I was a dancer before the war in Syria. And I'll be a dancer long after that war. Now, some people don't have that choice. Can you imagine I mean, I can't imagine. I'm lucky. You know, when there was a war going on in Nigeria, where my family are from before I was born, the Biafra War, when that war was going on, my mum and dad, they, they were okay. My family were okay. They could, they could move over here. It makes me sad. Because some people don't have that choice. Some people don't have the choice of like we have, we have in this Western world, we have a choice. We don't have to choose to pay our bills. We can choose, we, well, I mean, you know what I mean? We don't have to choose security over happiness. We don't, we, we can choose. We can, we can decide, oh, either I'll go for security or I'll go for happiness. That's, that's what I went for. Those people in those countries, they don't have a choice. They've got to survive. They've just got to survive. They've got to stay alive. I can't, I'm sorry I'm getting upset. I don't know why, but... Oh. So you... You choose. I want you to make a choice, Sagittarius. The universe wants you to make a choice. And your choice is you can stay where you are... Or you can move. You can tell her that you love her. Or you can tell him that you want him back. Or you can tell them that, you, that you're that you gay. Or you can... Whatever it is for you. Because you have a choice. And if you don't, if you're in a part of the world... Where you don't have a choice then you have my sympathy. And I hope that somehow, somewhere, I hope that you can find your freedom. Okay, sorry. It took a bit of a turn there. Well, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but... Um, savage. I'm sorry, Saj, I'm sorry. But, um... I'm sorry, I do apologise. I mean, I don't usually get... I'm not usually that bad, am I? I'm, <laughs> but your advice... Your advice from the universe is to take the leap. Is to take... Is to take the step. 
your advice from the universe is is to do it, is to go for it, is to move, is to take action, is to go in a direction that you don't know what's going to happen. You don't need to know what's going to happen because you've, you've reflected long and hard enough about where you are and where you are is not good enough. Where you are now, doesn't matter how much... You're not, you're not happy. You're not. So go in the direction that you want to go in is the advice from the universe and the rest will take care of itself, I promise. Because this is really leading to this, I think. Is you, is you, Because this is what you could encounter, remember. But only if you take that leap and only if you're honest. You'll feel liberated. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about that now because I can't believe... I can't believe I started crying about that. Unbelievable. Okay. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I hope you like that reading, Sagittarius, okay? I hope you spend this month... You know, I hope you obviously enjoy your birthday month. I hope you enjoy Christmas, etc. But I really hope that you make the choice that is right for you. And 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 I'm gonna say it, pardon my French. Fuck everybody else because really, you you here, you here because it's fucking traditional. Because whatever, whatever. I don't know, but you've thought about it anyway. Look at you. It's not like you're just making a rash decision. Look at what you spend all this time doing and thinking and feeling. Look, spending all this time doing and thinking and feeling, thinking and feeling, thinking and feeling, reflecting and, reflecting and not doing anything. Well, it's time to do something. It's time to do something. It's time. Oh my God, I'm not going to cry again. <laughs> I think I'll stop up there. Okay, if you like that reading, my darlings, please like. Um, and obviously you can also comment. Um, I have got a cold as well, so be nice. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously share this reading um if you think it if you think it might help somebody else share it on your social media um you can also subscribe to my channel just by clicking the subscription um little square it's like here um or um or my head will appear soon around here um <laughs> so subscribe and click the bell for notifications of new um of new what's it videos um you can also follow me on instagram at kiwism to raw and on facebook kiwism to raw and I, that's where i give extra additional little stuff and snippets of information about cards about energies etc okay so do check that out and don't forget to read the description box below because that tells you all about the energies for december and also check out the december astrology video which i'll probably put you can probably see it now um check out the december astrology video as well okay Sagittarius, you know, you, if you are like me, if you're in the situation that I'm in, you've got the choice, you've got the freedom, don't feel like you, you've blocked in, you, you've got to, this is your advice, I'm going to leave you with that, Sagittarius, thank you so much for being here, okay, have a wonderful December, and I'll see you all again very soon, maybe not next week, because it's my personal reading week next week, but I'll be back the week after for sure, with 2019 previews okay my darling take care have a wonderful birthday season and a wonderful christmas as well take care my darlings bye